their stock footage linked down below in the description. So feel free to download that and then follow along. Okay, so here I have a clip. This is the clip we'll be doing the effect on. Go ahead and right click on that and select new fusion clip. Then go into fusion. The first thing you wanna do is add a merge node. Then come up to the media pool. Go ahead and drag the fireworks clip into our node viewer down below. Go ahead and turn off the media pool and connect the media in two to that merge node. Select that merge node and swap the inputs by holding command and pressing T. As you can see, the fireworks clip is 4K, so we need to resize it. So with the media in two selected, hold down shift and press spacebar and type in resize. I'm just going to go ahead and move these nodes down below. Next, what you want to do is select the media in one and hold down shift and press spacebar and type in delta. Select the delta here. Come over here to the color picker and let's go ahead and select all of the blue sky. We're pretty much treating that blue sky like a blue screen or green screen. What you want to do is come over here to the inspector and go ahead and turn balance down or up. You can kind of see how it affects the clip just a little bit. Now the key doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to do a little trick that will blend the two layers together. Okay, so next what you want to do is select the delta here, hold down shift and press spacebar and type in LUT. Add the file LUT node. Then come over here on the right hand side of your screen and select browse. Then what you're going to want to do is download the LUT that is linked down in the description and drag it into your LUT folder for DaVinci Resolve. Then once you've put it into that folder, come back to DaVinci Resolve. And then you're going to want to go into the DaVinci Resolve folder on your computer and find the LUT folder that has the Sin Color Day for Night LUT. So go ahead and select that LUT. Move your playhead all the way to the beginning of your screen and come up here to where it says settings and turn the blend down all the way. Let's go ahead and set a keyframe. Then what you want to do is move your playhead forward on the clip. This is where I want the night effect to be 100%. So then I'm going to come up here to the blend mode and turn this up almost all the way. If I turn it up all the way, it gets really dark. So I may do about 0.9. And that looks pretty good. Okay, next what we wanna do is select the delta here and then select the rectangle mask. Adjust it so it goes all the way out of frame and open it up nice and big like that. Then drag it down until about right there. You wanna kinda of hit the horizon a little bit above it. And then what we're gonna do is select invert and then turn up soft edge. Then drag your playhead to the beginning of the clip and select the delta here. We want to keyframe the gain. So let's go ahead and select the keyframe for the gain option. And let's turn this all the way down. With the LUT selected, now you can see this created like a little keyframe. Let's go ahead and select that specific frame, come back to the delta here, and then let's turn the gain back up to one. All right, the last thing we need to do is come here to our media in two, select it, hold down shift and press spacebar and type in transform. Then come up here to the right hand side under the inspector and let's go ahead and move the Y axis of this entire clip up until it basically almost hits the horizon. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys in my next video.